What's going on, family? This is Scrap of Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fistic of Series. I want to take a look at a fighter by the name of Speedy Dotto. Now, he was born December 25th, 1906, in Manila, Philippines. He died July 2nd, 1990, at the age of 83, at the Manila, Philippines. Now, he had total bouts of 147, with 90 wins, 37 knockouts. 43 losses and 14 draws. He was a top rated fighter in both bantamweight and featherweight divisions. Now, Dado started boxing professionally in 1926, winning all of his early bouts, losing his first bout against Newsboy Brown. Newsboy Brown was a very, very good fighter during those days. And that would be Speedy Dado's first defeat. Newsboy Brown. That fight took place at the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. They fought for the vacant USA California State Championship in the Bantamweight Division. Adato was ahead on scorecards but came up short. Panama Al Brown lost a non title Speedy Dotto. In the 10th round decision, January 4th, 1932, at the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. And this one was for the vacant USA California State Bantamweight Championship. Speedy Dotto rained massive combinations on Al Brown, which had him on Queer Street. It was on Wobbly Legs. In 1932, Speedy Adada would defeat Rodolfo Casanova. They call him Baby Casanova. In a bout of an audience that cheered for Speedy Dotto because of his combinations, his power, his ability to endure punches, and to fight. Now in the fourth round, the fifth round, and the tenth round, he would hurt Casanova. Speedy Dotto fought for the world title three different occasions. February 10th, 1933, Dotto was stopped by an overhand right to the jaw. In 1934, he lost 15 rounds NBA Bantamweight Championship in Australia, California, and New York. On May 1935, he lost to Pablo Escobar. Now, one of the things that I liked about Speedy Dotto, not only a crowd pleaser, but he was a fighter. Took on very good fighters, such as Juan Zarita, Kid Pancho, Freddie Miller, he was a champion, Midget Wargas, also champion, Baby Aris Menzi, Baby Aris Menzi, outstanding Mexican fighter. He would defeat Speedy Dotto in 10 rounds. He would also defeat Newsboy Brown, Archie Bell, Freddie Miller, Eddie Shea, Young Tommy, Mike Belois, where he won the title, Al Roth, Fidela Barber. I did a profile on the Mexican, they call him the Mexican Slasher, Baby Aris Menzi. Type in Baby Aris Menzi, scrapbook boxing, you'll learn more about Baby Aris Menzi. But he was a phenomenal fighter. And he would defeat Speedy Dotto. Speedy Dotto would also defeat Jackie Wilson. Phenomenal fighter out of Pittsburgh. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Speedy Dotto. He was a phenomenal fighter from the Philippines. Most of his fights were in the States. 
for the majority of his fights in Las Vegas at the Olympic Auditorium. So salute to Speedy Dotto. Great fighter. This is Scrapbook Box, Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series, saying all great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. Thanks for hanging in there with me as we learn about these outstanding fighters from the past. Salute to my subscribers. Salute to Speedy Dial.